welcome back to my channel. I am just shooting a get ready with me video. I've had a couple people ask for just what I do for everyday makeup, so this is what I'm filming today. And my daughter was asleep for this video, or while I was shooting this video, so I didn't have time to do an introduction, so I'm just hopping right into it. So I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade Nude Beige, which is W3. And I'm just using an e.l.f. powder brush, I'm just going to buff this all into my skin using circular motions. And I kind of leave out the under eye part because I'm going to put concealer over that, so... That's why I'm not hitting there. And also, don't mind all the not rubbed in foundation over my eyebrows. I was looking in a viewfinder and I could not see that. So we're just gonna move on. Anyways, now I am doing my under eye concealer and I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I'm just going to use a beauty sponge to buff that in. Now using the Maybelline Fit Me setting powder, I'm just going to dust this under my eyes, not using too much, just a little bit goes a long way with this. And this is just going to help my concealer last all day. And then I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which I actually really, really love. It's a really pretty color. Um, it might be a little dark for me right now because I am super pale, but that's okay. I will blend it in in the end. So I'm pretty much just going to kind of carve out my cheekbones with this and then take it up to my temples. I know it looks really strong, possibly a little orange right now, but I'm going to blend that in, so don't you worry. excited for this next product it is the highlighter by Becca Cosmetics it's in the shade Champagne Pop it's the collaboration that Jaclyn Hill did and it is absolutely beautiful as you can see I'm just putting a little bit of it on my brush um, you don't need a lot this really goes a long way it's super pigmented but what I love about this is you can't see the actual like sparkles slash highlighter it just looks like a natural glow and I absolutely love that it's in the prettiest shade ever I just love it love it love it it is so warm so peachy it's very glowy so I am just dusting that over my cheekbones the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow Next up is eyebrows, and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade in the shade Blind, and I'm just showing you right here that when I take a swipe out of the actual pot, I rub it into the lid before applying to my eyebrows just to make sure that I'm not looking like I'm painting on eyebrows, and it makes it just a little more natural if you just kind of rub it into the lid and make sure that you don't have too, too much on your brush. Also, don't judge me, I know that I need to get my eyebrows done, which I actually went and did after watching this video. <laughs> that camera really picks up every single hair, but you know, it's fine, we're gonna work with it. So, now my eyebrows are done, I am using the Naked 3 palette for my eyeshadow. I am just using a light pink shade, it's called Limit in this palette, but any light shade will do really. It's just so that when you start applying the rest of your eyeshadow, it all blends out nicely. So I'm just rubbing that all over the lid just for a simple base. Alright, so once I'm done with that, I'm going in with the shade Liar, and it's just a light brown shade, a little more on the cooler side. Um, it does have a little bit of a shimmer to it as well, which is nice, but you can also use a matte shade. It's not really going to matter, just kind of whatever your preference is. So I'm going to take this into the outer corner of my eyes and really focus it on there, and then when no more product is on my brush, I just bring it into the uh, inner corner of my eyes, if that makes sense. So that is what I'm doing there, and you can kind of see a close-up of it there. 
and then I will go in with a darker shade called Factory and it's just a darker brown shade again it has the shimmer but you can use whatever you would like so then taking the shade Factory I'm going to again start with the outer corner and work my way towards the inner corner the look I am taking the shade limit again which is the first one that I used and I'm just going to rub that from the inner corner to the outer corner just to make sure that it is blended all smoothly and seamlessly and I forgot my shader brush in this part so I ran and got it really fast I really like this uh, as I think it's actually a definer brush but it's just a wide brush that's very thin and I like to use this for the underneath part of my eyes um, Kind of fast forwarded that a little bit because I got some in my eye and I didn't think that you guys wanted to see that but all I did was just put it on the underneath part of my eyes. Now I'm just going in with the Maybelline gel liner in the shade Espresso and on a daily basis I just do more of a smaller wing um, so that's what I'm doing here. And if you can see, to do my eyeliner, I start just by doing little small strokes because sometimes eyeliner can be hard, especially when using like a liquid or a gel. So I just use little small strokes until I feel like it is all nice and smooth. Now I'm going in with the Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara and you can see what a difference this really makes. Um, so I also show you guys here that I put it on the inner part of my eyelashes first. And then I start doing the outer part and I just go back and forth and then lift up and which will make more sense when you guys can see it. But I just feel like that helps give your eyelashes a little bit more volume and a little bit more length. I'm just going in with the L'Oreal lip stain in the shade 109. It's just a nice pinky color, a little bit with a mauve undertone. Uh, nothing too bold, but definitely still makes a statement. So I just applied that like a regular lip gloss, and this is the final look, you guys. I hope you like it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And leave a comment down below telling me your favorite fall lipsticks, because I'm looking for some good ones. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!